Whenever I think about insurance, I think of two things. One. And two. Y'all really playing with my paranoia here. But that's the play. I get it. Because I still feel pressured to buy insurance. I guess it's okay to not really understand this because as I can I did, right? Quote, I don't know because really, is insurance that confusing? Or am I confused? So the reason why I got my insurance is because everybody said they're getting an insurance. It's not because we understand or I understood the importance of insurance. I just knew that, oh, I have to get it because people say that I have to get it. So how I would describe insurance to someone who has no idea? Insurance is something that you can't see, you can't feel. But it is something that you'll need if you're looking for protection in life. It's confusing because knowing how much or what do you need for insurance is not as simple as going to the market and thinking, oh, I would like to have some fruits today, so I'll just get some fruits. It's not as simple as that. Because you'll need to really sit down and understand, why do I need an insurance? So very simple, you know, you're capable of working now but if I ask you are you willing to take up the risk of losing the income due to emergencies for instance critical illnesses or it could be unable to work because you're disabled and stuff like that are you willing to take up the risk and fund yourself for the rest of your life knowing that you have no income to come in so that's where insurance comes in there are actually quite a few adults who just feel like insurance what's for the for the insurance is it but when you start adulting there's a lot more things that comes in. When you have your own house, you'll have to start thinking about insuring your house. When you go traveling, you would think about getting a travel insurance. We have general insurance, generally includes motor, vehicle, life insurance, medical insurance. That's a lot of insurance. But what most Malaysians would think of when it comes to insurance is about, oh, I'm buying insurance because I would like to benefit from it. Because that's not how you do it. You buy insurance because you want to be protected and also because you want the risk to be transferred to the insurance. So that you will also yourself have peace of mind knowing that, oh, okay, if anything would happen to me, I would know that I am protected and that I've done the right thing, that I've managed my finances perfectly well, that this is going to happen next. Basically, buying insurance is like buying yourself a safety net where you can be as bodo as you want and have it cushion you later. But what happens when the safety net's not the right size? Is there even a right size? How do you even find the right size? Does the right size even exist? A lot of insurances out there that are actually sold to clients or individuals are not tailored to their protection. It's tailored to a lot more different purposes. Insurance companies are more likely to insure healthy people compared to sick people. Insurance is a business after all, right? And we do find individuals who are actually over-insured because they think the more insurance policies I have, the better it is. Not all insurance comes in at one go. They actually come in subsequently, you know, like after the first policy, somebody else comes in and say, oh, you probably need more, top it up. Somebody else comes in and say, you need more, top it up. But it's redundant because you are overinsured. But if you're underinsured, then it's concerning because you're paying for something that is not worth the value. You thought that you are good to go, you're insured. But when something major happens in your life, you realize, oh no, this is not enough. So who's going to be responsible? Because by then, things has already happened. Also, before we can delve into insurance, you will need a helicopter view of your finances at the moment. Before we can decide how much is required in your current life stage. So for example, from completing university to working, that's one phase. From completing your work maybe two years down the road, getting a promotion, that's another stage. Moving on, getting married, that's another stage. Having a child is another stage. So with every big milestone in your life, you realise that, okay, this year I have this current commitment to be covered. Hence, I need this amount of insurance to protect me. But come next year, that commitment would have passed on because you would have finished paying to the loan, the mortgage, car loan. So when you revisit your planning for protection and you go like, oh, I'm actually good enough to sustain myself at the lower amount of protection. Or you may even need more protection because of what may come in the future. 
So I believe that is very important because a lot of people who have actually bought their first insurance, they actually don't look back until 5 to 10 years later. Until you get more in that view of what insurance is and why is it needed, your perception may actually change. Insurance plays a role in financial management, but it is not everything in financial management. There's a lot more to financial management than just insurance itself. If you don't need insurance, you don't need insurance. If you need insurance, yes, by all means, go ahead, seek professional advice, get one. Don't be pressured into thinking, oh, I need an insurance because all my peers have an insurance, you know? Hi. I'm Daya, and I'm uninsured, just like you. Statistics show that one in four Malaysians are at risk of developing a disability during their working years. So without insurance, I have to rely on my savings to pay off all of my medical bills during my disability. Savings that I could actually use for my retirement? That's kind of screwed up, but is that fair? Comment down below. Let us know what you think. <laughs>